Tourism General Director Joanne Giberlou says if the recent summer Junkanoo Festival is any indication, then Bahamians are people who like to be busy and have something to do. At a press conference held today, she told us that based on what she's seen, the more people taking part in cultural and entertainment events, the less reports there were of criminal activity. I think for the most part, people are looking for events, functions, activities that are safe, that are family oriented. oriented. And when you have those type of events, it brings that type of person to the event. So notwithstanding that you said you're going to raise the issue of crime, I'm hoping that it's these type of events and activities that speaks to the wholesomeness of the Bahamas, what we do best, where our culture, our friendliness, our people are seen at their very best. Crime is always a major concern, a major factor. She says sporting activities are also a great unifying factor that often keeps people busy and out of trouble. That's why the government is looking to ensure that over the 2014-2015 period, sports tourism will be the gateway by which tourism will focus on improving the country's economy. From events such as an LPGA golf tournament, a women's version of Battle for Atlantis, and a Ride for Hope tour, Ms. Jibberloo says these initiatives are ones that she believes will show just how dedicated tourism is about finding innovative ways to put the Bahamas on the market. As I said, this indicates the seriousness of the Ministry of Tourism in promoting these events. Not only is it great for the Bahamas, as it brings the spotlight to the Bahamas from a media and marketing perspective, but we see an increase in tourism. Traditionally, families, fans, supporters follow people for these events. And for us, that means much more heads in beds, something that we love to see. The new sports tourism initiative is slated to kick off with the HBCUX festivities that will bring historically back colleges to the Bahamas to participate in a Division I against Division II football game, including step shows, local and international performances that will commence on the 15th of September. For JCN News, I'm Renisha Ellis.